I'm going to show you how to use our Art Deco filigree mould. It's very easy to use. What I do, normally I would put corn flour into the moulds to release the paste, but if you want the paste to come out very shiny, you can use pearl luster instead of the corn flour. So I've put quite a bit in there, plenty of luster. And then I've got some paste. Now this is our sugar paste, our own sugar paste. We've got marshmallow or vanilla paste you can use. If you haven't got these, you can use other pastes, but you need to add Tylo or CMC to them to firm them up. Now I'm just kneading this to get it smooth. It looks a little bit too much there. So if we just need that, get it nice and smooth before it goes into the mould. And then rather than just putting a ball in trying to press it along, I'm just rolling a sausage in my hands there so it's easier to roll and press the paste into the mould. So we start to press down flat and I don't move on to the next area until this part is level and flat with the back and not going over the edges. So as I work along I turn the sausage of paste so it's heading in the right direction. So we keep working that in. Don't worry about pressing firmly. You can press very firmly. As long as your paste is right, there's no need to put them in the freezer to remove the paste. They will come out straight away. So there we go, that's level with the back. It's not going over the edge anywhere. So now we've removed the paste from the mould. Just bend the mould back and bend it away from the mould. That's how easily it should come out. And then I'm just going to brush over to polish and give it a nice shine. You don't need to add any more powder, it will just bring out what's there. Okay, so that can be left as it is and attached to your cake, or you can decorate it further by painting it. So I've got some gold powder colour and some isopropyl alcohol. So mix the two together in the lid, and you want the mix quite dry, not too wet, and a large flat dusting brush, and you put the brush on its side and just skim it over the paste, over the pattern from the mould. Now if you don't want to use alcohol, you can use water, but it will take longer to dry. If you haven't got the isopropyl alcohol, you can use vodka or gin. There we are, nearly done. So. If you think, if when you've painted it, if you think it looks too harsh um, or too much colour, you can use your pearl luster again and just go over it gently just to soften that gold down. But it changes the appearance completely. Now, the other thing you can do with this before you attach it to your cake is stretch the curved edges. So you just put a finger either side of the curve and just stretch like this. This is also a really nice mould to use. You can layer, you know, attach more than one layer of the frill. You can add two or three in layers, as I will show you on the cake. As you can see on the cake, we've on the top tier, I've just attached the one frill as I've just shown you. They can be trimmed as well to fit the cake. If you know your top tier obviously is going to be smaller, so you can cut off one or two scallops so you fit the same amount of frills around your cake. Second tier, again, I've just used one frill, one layer of the mould, but underneath I've put a fringe, I've added a fringe in the same colour and painted it with gold. The bottom tier, I've used three layers of the frill and on each tier I've covered the joins with our butterfly from our butterf butterfly and insect brooch mould. Thank you for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, there's plenty more on our website, karen at karendaviscakes.co.uk or on our YouTube channel. Thank you.